Okay, so we are here with Nicolette Dennis again from San Diego. And uh, another strategy that she used in one of her videos was uh, a common problem that sometimes teachers wonder about is when you, when you pose a question to students and you give them a couple of options of which claim to support, what do you do when, when they all kind of start to agree or when the vast majority of the class mm -hmm. kind of all agrees with one claim? So I'd like you to kind of share what you did in the video and kind of your reasoning behind it. Absolutely. Um, so all of the students were going towards one claim because one of our students um, that they have deemed the smartest um, was sitting with one claim. So they said, oh, that's that's it. Um, and we had already talked about how people can be wrong and um, we kind of go through that. And so I decided to take up another claim just to say, well, here's the claim that I heard trying to model some language to say like, I believe this claim, not I believe, I support this claim and really using that vocabulary and then um, using evidence to back it up too. So I wanted to tell them that I support this claim because of this evidence that's supporting it, which I guess kind of made sense. It didn't, I, it was kind of on the fly. I saw that they were um, doing that, but I wanted to step in and say, well, I want you to think about it this way too. And so using the language they're already having to use is great. Um, and then providing some sort of like visual to see um, those things as well. Um, and we had done a lot of talk talking about details and facts before. So using that as like a support as well. Great. Uh, and I know you're, you're new to the approach, but how have the kids, um, how have they got behind the idea of both constructing claims, but then also critiquing the opposite idea? Um, and was that kind of part of the reason you were uh, presenting that other idea to them? And have they mm -hmm. started, have, have you noticed them kind of think a little bit differently about, I need to also, you know, think about why the other idea is not right versus just, I'm going to pick which one I think is right. Absolutely. Um, yeah, they really are trying. <laughs> They're trying to think about both. Um, they're so little still. So I feel like it's hard for them to wrap their mind around that, but we've had a lot more practice um, just using negotiation styles within the classroom as a, as a whole. So if they, if they make a claim, they use that word like, Oh, I have this claim during any sort of science time, not just negotiation time um, where they're critiquing each other throughout all of class. And we made it very normal. They have some sentence frames on their desk. Um, if they disagree with someone, they say, I respectfully disagree with, whatever they disagree with and then they say because and they kind of go with it or if they agree with someone we have gestures of like I agree with you or um, just <laughs> frames for them to use that um, we don't say names if we agree with somebody or not and um, that's just the norm in our classroom um, we've also we've also created a really safe space so um, if I make a mistake they know I'm about to tell them that I made a mistake. And one of the teaching strategies I use is during math time, I, we usually do like a, um, a problem where I intentionally make a mistake and they have to correct me. Um, so that critique is happening and I give them feedback based on what they're doing. Um, and I think noticing yourself and noticing the own mistake, uh, your own mistakes um, and telling them like, oh, I made a mistake, I'm so sorry, or not even apologizing, saying, I, make a, I made a mistake, how can we learn from this? And using those moments as like very teachable moments because the moment you say, oh, I, I don't mess up, these kids are gonna notice that and they're there too, they're not gonna mess up either. So right. taking the shame out of being wrong and allowing it to be a, a learning moment instead. That's awesome. Well, uh, just by watching the video, I can see that you set up a really, really great classroom climate, and it looks like those kids are having a lot of fun. So, <laughs> all right. Well, thank you so much for joining us, and thank keep you. up the good work.